unable to find the end zone. Lead reduced to eight again. 21 13, 6.37 to go. The heated, sometimes hated rivals, Toronto and Hamilton. Beginning of a back to back week. Daniel wrestled to the ground. Come on. Evan Glenn is back at it now. Instructions from quarterback coach Kahari Jones. You see the Tiger Cat numbers in terms of their play selection on the day. Favoring the pass more than we've seen from the Toronto Argonauts. But this has been the Hamilton offense over the last couple of years, or the last year and a half since Marcel Belfay took over. Essentially a pass-first football team. Saw a lot of Arlan Bruce, the former Argo, in the first half. Not as much here in the second. Land. And Rodriguez has to haul it in, but the pass was low, and Rodriguez was unable to pick it off his shoe tops. Well, the Tiger Cats set that formation to get Prishé Rodriguez as the lone receiver on the short side of the field. Kevin Glenn couldn't quite get it all the way out there. We've seen that win affect the kicking game certainly more than the passing game here today, but you, you wonder a little bit if, if that may have affected him when you see the pass drop a little bit short like that. Argos have turned the ball over three times. Cats have done a nice job protecting it so far. Hand off on a draw play, DeAndre Cobb, and squirting forward. See what kind of a spot he gets from the officials. Could set up a bit of a third down gamble here for the Cats. Looks like it might be a little longer than a yard. Yeah, this is a not a fit, not a favorable call spot. It a long one or a short two. Yeah, but given the field position, this would be gutsy to go for it. Yeah, they're sending that with the punt squad. It's been a battle of field position so far in this second half. <laughs> Will Poole is back. The carousel of returners continuing for the Toronto Argos as they try to find the guy. Nick Dorsey was the guy last year. And it's out of bounds. Maybe a little emotion now. Well, the NFL season kicks off Thursday. TSN has you covered for the season opener. As the Tennessee Titans face off against the defending Super Bowl champion, Pittsburgh Steelers and Stephon Logan. Live coverage begins at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. BC Lions fans may be watching that one with envy as their former star running back made the roster of the Pittsburgh Steelers as their primary return man. Had an 80-yard touchdown the other night in the final preseason action. Really made the team on that run. Five minutes to go for the end of the third quarter. Pickett gives it off, and the brought down. Jeff Johnson, our Keith Knowlton is there, part of this triumvirate of cat linebackers that all have roots tracing back to the BC Lions. Well, to the BC Lions and Bob Obilovich. You see a little bit of that fierceness as you see Knowlton and Johnson team up on that one. Those characteristics that Fired Bob Obilovich to bring Norton Johnson and Otis Floyd West with him. Quick drop. And a quick hit. Jeff Tisdale brings down to Mike Bradwell. There's a penalty flag, and we have a brawl out here now, and they are going at it. Welcome to Labor Day. Yes, indeed. You haymakers thrown there, and I'm not sure they're done yet. I don't 
know how you sort this one out. Who threw the first punch or what? Taylor Robertson in on it. It took him a while to get yeah, going this yeah. year, didn't it? I mean, they've, well, they've been, you know, all lovey-dovey and everything, you know. Arlan Bruce back with his old teammates. Well, guess what? It's on now. You knew it was bound to happen. So lost in all of this was the reception by Bradwell because... Beneath this play was this scrum. Rob Murphy in there. There he is. And Taylor Robertson. Taylor Robertson and Justin Hickman were kind of on the perimeter of that, but that, that battle started right in the middle of that pile. They were just late covers to that mess. You know, if there's... A bit of a brawl or scrum going on, and chances are that Rob Murphy's going to be somehow involved in the middle of it. A fairly safe bet. Murphy, Dominic Powell, Taylor Robertson. And all those guys know all about the Labor Day games. I can't really say that about the Hamilton front four. Kind of new to all of this. Andre Prue roughing and punching. <laughs> Getting a flag for punching. Yeah, you get a ticket home for yeah, punching. And I think that's what you might have here. The Hamilton coaches have pulled their entire defensive unit over to the sidelines to try and get them settled yeah, down. We, I think we have a couple of ejections actually. Certainly one. to the sideline is Taylor Robertson. And is he the only one? No. There's a cat going, too. Yeah, that's going to be Justin Hickman. Major foul. Unnecessary roughness. Toronto number 64. Major foul. Disqualification. Toronto number 65. Major foul. Disqualification. Hamilton, number 95. 15-yard penalty will be enforced from the end of the play. It will be third down. So sorting that mess out after that melee. Robertson's gone. Hickman's gone. It's all a wash. And the Argos are going to have to kick the football away. There goes Taylor Robertson. And look for Taylor Robertson to look up, because no doubt he'll catch a little abuse from the fans above on his way out of here. There he goes. Yeah, you knew there would be a little bit of uh, chatter from the locals. Good figure. 4.09 to go after all of that. Andy Johnson moved this away. Standing at his five-yard line. McDaniel near midfield. So the Cavs could come away with some very good field position after all of that. Close Ray Marius in there again, and a good kick from Johnson. McDaniel has some running room down the sideline. And inside Toronto territory. 21 13, a couple of ejections. A lot of excitement to come here. It's Labor Day. Well, our Pure Later sack tally brought to you by Pure Later, where business is going for every sack and every game. Pure Later donates the quarterback's weight and food to a local food bank. Justin Hickman, who's now out of the game, had one of the sacks for the Thai Cats. Everybody looking up at Saskatchewan, who leads the sack tally. 
thanks again to the great people of Purelater. The Tackle Hunger Program raised a ton of money again here today locally for food banks around the Hamilton area. Arlan Bruce now. Pitch and go. It won't go anywhere. Let's go down to the sideline now. Here's Catherine Dolan. Rod, Byron, Byron Parker came back from the break not wearing his pads, as you can probably see there. He separated his shoulder, and when I asked him about the injury, he said he had thought it might be at least a couple of weeks, but I did see him trying to move his arm around there, so never know when he'll be able to come back. The other one is Reggie McNeil. He also came back with no pads on. He says his knee buckled. He's not sure what's wrong, but he too will not be coming back into the game. Rod? All right, thank you, Catherine. Second down, eight yards to go for the Tiger Cats. Glenn stays in the pocket for Bruce. He's open. He's got it. Down to the two. He fumbled the football. They're marking this as a completion. They are marking it down as a completion. But I'd be surprised not to see a challenge flag from the Argo sideline. Arlan Bruce celebrating. The Argos, there's the challenge flag. This is going to be very interesting to see on the replay. Bruce made an outstanding catch, but as he came down, clearly he lost the football. Yep. Here we're going to get another look at it. Perfectly thrown ball, and this is a tough catch over the shoulder like that to go from track the ball from inside to out. But you see Bruce, as he came down, he had secured the football, but as he hit the ground, that ball popped out. We always talk about surviving that contact with the ground. Sure, the Argos immediately got a response from above I'll tell the you spotter's what. box. Working in the Tiger Cats' favor, Arlen Bruce took a couple of steps with that football. Toronto is challenging the ruling of, on the field of a completed pass and down by contact. The play will be reviewed. Well, again, uh, to the command center they go to Check out on all the replays and all the monitors. What do you think? Well, here we, we get another look at it. Bruce has the ball. One, two full steps. A third step. And then he goes down. And the you ball comes out. I, you know what? This is a completion, and he's down. I think this is going to be ruled a completed there, there's, pass. There's the knee there, too, as yeah, he goes the down. the ball goes down. He's, he's taken steps with that football. You know, in my initial look, I thought he kind of, the timing was so quick that he caught it and fell. He took about three steps with that football. And then the, the ground is what pops the ball out. I think this is going to be ruled a completed pass. Was down by contact with the Hamilton's ball first down. There you go. Arlan Bruce. Big play. One of the biggest in this ball game. Again, the Cats are in close. Can they finish it off? Garland Bruce with his second huge reception of this football game. Against his old mates. You don't think that feels good. Williams and Cobb in the backfield. First and goal. Glenn behind center. Cobb, right side. And he will be stopped in his tracks by Kevin Ivan. The Argos have stacked up Cobb in the run game all day here today. You see Kevin Ivan. He's going to come off the edge right here. Well, this is a couple of times now, too, where the Cats have penetrated within five yards. Another big play and forced to kick a chip shot field goal. Yeah, I'll tell you, you get in here and teams have this tendency to, to crowd the backfield, crowd the line of scrimmage, spread things out and be a little creative in terms of what we do in short yardage offenses. Now well, looks like he's going to throw this football. And he will. Glenn's in trouble though. And he will go down. What a play from the Toronto Argonauts. There is a penalty marker near the goal line. Ball was loose. Andre Pru left to sort this out again. A 
Illegal contact to the receiver. Throttle number 21. At wow. the distance to the goal. First down. Lynn J. Shell. Interference call. And now first and goal from the one. Tiger Cats get the big boys back on the field. You see Shell come from the right side, basically tackles Chris Davis as Davis tries to work from right to left across the field. Adam to Prowlis now. First and goal. Whistled in, will take it himself. And another penalty flag, and no signal yet for a touchdown. There it is. Got to anticipate that flag will be offside against the defense. 